Hi, this is Dave Wolber from AppInventor.org and University of San Francisco. I'm going to show you how to use the App Inventor Gallery. This is kind of like an open source Google Play Store for Android apps. You have to put your source code in with it, your, your App Inventor source. So every app you see there, you can grab the source and play with it, remix it. So it's great. You can find apps to, to kind of start with when you build a new, new app. Um, you can find new ideas. It's great. Okay, so how do you submit to the gallery? That's what I'm going to show you today. Um, so really to submit something, you got to start in App Inventor, and I've got this Momash app open. It's already in the gallery, but I'm going to show you how to submit it if I want to submit it again. I'm going to go to My Projects here in App Inventor, right, and go down and find my app and check it. So here it is. I've got a bunch of apps, right? I've got even a bunch of versions of Momash. But I'm going to check the Momash app and go to More Actions and Download Source. And this creates this zip file. Okay, and this zip file has all the source code for my app, and this is what I'm gonna. This file is what I'm gonna submit to the gallery. So I'm just gonna say OK, and it'll stick it in my downloads directory. Okay, now I need to go over to the gallery. It's kind of a separate app, right? It's a separate web app. So I'm here in the gallery. I've got to log in. Okay, I'm gonna log in with my normal email, and um, it'll open up um, the gallery again except I'm logged in now and you can see my account and all that sort of thing and I'm gonna to go to my apps okay so when I click on my apps uh, it'll show all my apps I don't have any right now so I'm gonna add new application okay my title is gonna be mole mash and it's uh, an arcade game you could put any description you want you could put a link to a tutorial if this was kind of a teaching app or a link to more information about the app Okay, I'm going to select my source file, and here I'm just going to go to my downloads directory, and there's my Momash file that I just downloaded. So I'm going to grab it. I'm going to select an image. So this is what's going to show up on your app page here at the gallery. And typically it's a screenshot of your app, okay, or it might be your icon. Um, I happen to have one already made, um, and it's called molemashscreen.png. And what I did was just a screenshot of my app, and then I kind of placed it within a picture of a phone. So I used Photoshop to kind of make this thing look kind of, kind of cool. Okay, so anyway, there's my image that's going to show up on my app page. Okay, last thing I need to do is kind of tag it. You must choose a category. In this case, I'll choose games as my category. And I can enter other tags as, as well. So I might call this a simple app. Um, whatever tags you might think of to describe your, your app. Okay, the description words will also go into the search index so that they, your, your app can be found by that as well. Okay, so I'm almost set. I've got my image, I've got my zip file, okay, I've got a description, and I just click on save application. And you'll see this little status bar going, processing, so it takes a little while for the thing to get uploaded. Um, but it just in, I don't know, 5, 10, 20 seconds, it should become active. Okay, so my app is now in the gallery. Other people can take a look at it. So let's just go back to the home page. And if we scroll down to the newest apps here, you'll see there's this cool newest apps by Dave Olber called Molemash. And that's the one I just submitted. I can click on it. Um, here's my kind of little description. The one view is myself who just viewed it. Okay, and I can click, or anybody can click this download source and get to my apps. And of course it'll show all my other apps over here as well or people can link and get to other apps with the same tags like the tag of games. Okay, so pretty cool stuff. Um, a real nice way to share your stuff with others. If you're teaching a class or you're just working on a big project with lots of people, it's a great way to, to get things around. And, and one thing is, is nice is you'll see a bunch of people viewing and downloading your app and it's kind of a cool way to to just interact with people. It's a real social way to, to build apps and learn, learn programming.